Uh, right, Sparks. Hi guys, welcome along. This is Rival Kingdoms, you're watching Mikus, and today let's go back to the start, back to basics, with a brand new series. Let's play Rival Kingdoms. Okay, so as you can see, there is a mouse on the screen. That's because I'm playing on the computer via Bluestacks, which is an app simulator for Android. So bear with me as you can see the mouse. Okay, so we're going to start with the Ruin Enforcer in the tutorial. This power is ours. We shall use it to return this world to nothingness as we have done to so many before. Okay. Quickly, use my troops, drag his squad into the battle to deploy them. Okay, thank you, Alondra. So uh, let's deploy the troops. So the troops are behind uh, Bart on the screen. It's uh, because my screen is too small. So um, anyway, so let's drag some wardens. Wardens are basically like archers. An action is coming through the shrine. Let's hope it hates the ruin as much as we do. Yes. Feeble mortal creatures, provide me with mana and I shall aid you against our common foe. Okay, so we have Solric now. So let's get stuck into it. And I'm sick of doing these voices, so I'm just going to talk normal. So Solric doesn't offer something or other. I just missed that because I got too excited. But anyway, let's drop the mana hunters like I just did. And uh, uh, something about nectar. <laughs> let's use the rain of fire there. And uh, we've got the blackened armor, but we're going to use the uh, great fire elemental, which you can put on anything pretty much on the buildings as well. So that's uh, an easy, good work, Commander. Now let's finish them. Okay, so let's continue. So stay here and protect this shrine. With time and care, it will eventually bring other ancients to your side. So my main account has about 30 ancients, I do believe. And uh, so as you go on during the game, you actually collect more ancients uh, through chests and battle wins. Especially through battle streaks. So. Okay, so let's tap. And let's go back to base. So this is our new base. So we got the shrine and we built a brand new base. Commander, this is your stronghold now. However, you should upgrade it quickly before it gets plundered for resources. So, yes, we're going to go to the builder's uh, hammer and the production. And we're going to build a gold storage first up. And let's just place it there. And uh, this gold storage will hold gold that you, cre and you create and require. So let's just go and skip it uh, because it's for free, of course. And uh, continue. So it can hold 2,000 gold. And uh, let's click on the map. Okay, so we're in the map. So let's go to the multiplayer. So we need to earn some gold. So let's go and attack. So first up, we're versing Craig Horn, and I'm pretty sure this is probably an app simulation one. But uh, anyway, let's drag some soldiers and some just soldiers onto the field. And we're going to wait until they take down that troop portal, the one they're on now. And it's gone, and we're going to get some mana. And we're going to drop Rain of Fire on the Watchtower. And pretty easy. Greater Elemental. Get rid of it. Come on. Oh, go. Rain of Fire. Rain of... Oh, okay. So I didn't use the Rain of Fire. Like, it asked me to, but that's okay. We've got the epic victory. Okay, so going back, we're going to go back home. And we're going to click on the attack in the building area and buy a brand new troop portal. So this time we're going to move it over 
and at this stage don't worry too much about protection uh, I'll go into that in another video so okay and we can carry new troops and so we're gonna click on the barracks now and we're gonna upgrade it and of course as you can see under five minutes so we're gonna skip it for free and we get some brand new troops which are the wardens nice So click on continue. Okay, so we're going to select the squad. Uh, so first barbarians and then wardens. So let's choose some more wardens. There we go. Okay, and uh, quit out of the barracks. Okay, so keep upgrading your barracks for more types of troops. And we're going to click on the top where the quests are and we're going to collect some more gold uh, as we've completed the quest. Go back and uh, we're going to click on that one just there is uh, the event so fireborn but you must be in a kingdom to participate in the event anyway if you go into the kingdom as you can see it's unlocked at level four I can't do that because I'm a level one and we're gonna claim the daily prize so the daily prize you get something new every day and after 28 days straight you get Tokumi, which is a uh, death ancient. And after seven, you get, uh, uh, I forgot the name, uh, uh, Lyris, Lyris. Uh, and she's a lightning ancient. So let's go to tracking for Veal. So for Veal is a ice dragon, and he is the very first dragon you'll acquire. So scouts report that the ruin is, are headed towards the frozen north. So as you can see, not looking good. Okay, so law, law, law master says good. Let's go something or other. So doubtful, they're on the trail for the ice tra dragon for real. Uh, they're corrupting any strongholds they find along the way. Oh dear, that's bad, very bad. If they take control of the ancient, then we'll be in trouble. Or we'll all be in trouble, sorry then make sure we get to him first so we're going to click on that again and we're going to just scroll across to the end and in the de the den of ice the uh the end you will get for real uh, so you need to pass him to be able to um, get the dragon so let's go into the first one And we're going to use Sorik. So the Ruin have converted this base. There's nothing we can do but burn it to the ground. Sad. My niece is never one to favour su the subtle approach, but sadly in this case she's right. Okay, so thank you, Lord, Mo Lord Master. So let's go and uh, let's start with some wardens. Some more wardens here, and we're going to. Sorry. And we're going to collect some. Oh, what's going on? We're going to collect some mana pretty easily, and we're going to drop Rain of Fire on the Spell Tower because that can do some damage. Rain of Fire on the Watchtower there. And when that goes down, well, there we go. Fills up, and we're going to just drop a, a, an elemental for no reason at all. So, an epic victory, very easy as we continue to Chills Pine Peak, which is the second one. So let's go and attack this one as well, and uh, I think we might finish on the second one for today. So as we continue, so we've got two spell towers. Oh, at least this is something or other, I don't care. Anyway, so we've got two spell towers in the front, and uh, we can drop some waters behind, because uh, spell towers can't get to them, obviously. and. Uh, just speed it up a uh, greater elemental in the middle speed it up again yeah, pretty easy um, as you can see so epic victory again and uh, we'll do should we do the third one yeah we'll do the third one so we've got one more 
and again we can't be far behind four veal now can we this cold is intolerable uh, if you unleash four veal on the world the cold will be the least of your worries uncle Elias okay so let's go and take this out this is a little bit more difficult at this stage so first we're going to use soldiers up the front and then wardens behind more wardens behind and we need to get rid of that watchtower first and now we need to get rid of that trip portal and rain of fire over the top of the spell tower another rain of fire and hopefully that's enough to take it out there we go we've got a catapult there too it's causing some problems so rain of fire in the back and that's going to be a fail <laughs> <laughs> okay much more difficult anyway so we're gonna leave it on that one that is difficulty of hard anyway so as you can see it requires a battle stone to um, to attack we only have five in total so as you can see 10 11 minutes to go um, you get one battle stone every 20 minutes and for every attack you need a battle stone except for in the kingdom raids you don't need it for the kingdom raids so let's go in to another multiplayer and we're going to verse Vate sword 48 which is an actual uh, computer uh, not a computer an actual person uh, they've actually designed the base so Warden soldiers, soldiers first for the for the meat and uh, archers for the muscle, and we're just going to end it there. We're not even going to bother because we have the win anyway, and we get a chest for being record streak number two. So we've got two wins in a row now, and we're going to get a treasure chest. And in that treasure chest, there will be gold, one hundred gold. Don't worry, it's never that low. As you get uh, more advanced, you get more actually. Okay, so next, uh, the tutorial is now over. Uh, so let's upgrade some stuff. So first, upgrade the gold storage. And because it's under five minutes, we can speed it up for free. And let's go back to the map. Okay, so claim the reward. You can, in the beginning, when you first start playing, you get nine groups or nine packs of battle stones, which is basically 45 free battle stones. Um, you can ask for more. Okay, so let's upgrade the store, the stronghold, and we get a bunch of new stuff. Cleaning, uh, keeping up. So let's get some diamonds. Uh, so if you've got diamonds uh, save your diamonds because uh, your diamonds will um, when you accumulate 2000 you can get a new builder but anyway we're gonna wrap it up there thanks for watching guys if you haven't hit the subscribe button share with your friends and like and uh, of course please comment down below and say what you think of the video and uh, give me some feedback um, and I can make them better you know whatever so feel free to comment down below and if you want to see some clash videos there's a couple clash videos down below with archer lisa and as always thanks for watching have a great day and i'm going to leave you with tracking four reels quest